Instead of spending the holidays in jail for impaired driving, Blaine Hodamani was allowed to stay home and carry the Kettle Nakoda Nation, working and spending time with his family and friends. That's thanks to a Glad You report that was presented in court. It revealed that Hodamani has fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, and he's also a residential school survivor. Hodamani says the Glad You report helped him get a lighter sentence, stay closer to his support network, and reassess his path in life. It was hard, but, but it, it helped me out lots. Now today I, I look at my past and I think, think all the things that I did wrong in my lifetime. The Supreme Court of Canada says every Indigenous person is entitled to a Glad You report. Reports include an Indigenous person's past traumas, like spending time in a residential school or child welfare system. They lay out challenges and ways to support a person after they've been sentenced. But Glad You reports aren't easy to obtain. And due to resource constraints in the justice system, they often take a long time to produce. And three to six, uh, yeah. So Michelle Stewart and Robin Pitawanaquat decided to do something. They're part of the Integrated Justice Program, a multi-agency partnership funded by Public Safety Canada. It helps connect people with FASD, like Hodamani, to services they need. And in the fall of 2020, it started producing Glad You reports for its clients. Now members of the Glad You team, composed of legal experts and FASD experts, say their work is addressing a truth and reconciliation call to action and creating better outcomes for people with FASD. What we are able to do um, within the Gladue report is to, um, to give context to the courts, to explain that, but then also to set up these plans that keep people in the community. And I think one of the strongest ways that we can um, push back against colonialism is to bring families back together. They do have conditions where they can't be near certain businesses. The Gladue writing team is preparing reports at a faster rate. It's written more than 30 Glad You and pre-sentencing reports in a year and a half. Compared that to Saskatchewan's Ministry of Justice that's produced 24 reports in five years. That doesn't include reports from private agencies. Experts say the team-based approach is effective and should be considered in all provinces. I think the model is, is absolutely generalizable across the country. I think the challenge we face is that governments are going to have to step up with funding and support this kind of, of endeavor. Hodamani is now serving his six-month sentence in jail. But when we connected with him in the community, he said he hopes more Indigenous people get Glad You reports. And if this helps another person, sure. It, it's, this is good what, what, I, uh, what I went through. Hodamani has had numerous experiences with the justice system. He says this is the first time he felt treated like a human as opposed to a criminal. Brian Enius, CBC News, Regina.